So there are many videos out there that teaches you how to clean your rifle, but have you ever thought about what type of equipment you need for cleaning your bench rest rifle? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about it. Hi, my name is Alan from Aussie Bench Rest Shooting. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Yes, let's talk about bench rest rifle cleaning equipment. So first of all, why do you need cleaning equipment? Simple thing is you need to maintain your rimfire rifles to accurately participate in bench rest shooting. So yes, there are many people out there that only just, you know, clean their rifle once every 12 months or whatever and throw a patch through it and should be right. If you want to participate in precision bench rest shooting as a sport, you need to maintain a regular cleaning schedule. So yeah, so I thought we would go through some of the cleaning equipment that I have in my uh, little collection box there behind me and uh, we can talk about the pros and cons of each product. The first item that I recommend that you purchase for your cleaning kit is some cleaning patches. Yes, that's right. Cleaning patches are necessity when you're trying to clean your rimfire rifle. The purpose of these is that you're, it allows you to put solution on them and allows you to attach them to a jag, attach it to your cleaning rod and allow you to push it through your rimfire barrel. So these particular patches are Hoppy's brand and I think I paid eight dollars or something like that they're extremely cheap and literally this packet has lasted me over a year that's right so there's 500 patches in this particular little packet and you know they're cost effective they're simple to use and big thing is when you're buying them make sure you purchase the right size yes that's right on these packets it says 22 so that way you can get the right patch for your 22 caliber rifle now the next particular product is called g96 gun lubricant this stuff is like the WD-40 of gun lubrication. This stuff is amazing. You can put it on your stock, on your barrels, uh, through your actions, but only a little bit. You don't want to mess up your triggers. And you know you can just use it on everything and it is safe to use. You know This little can has lasted, again, over a year um, and I don't know, it feels about half full. You know A little bit of this goes a very long way. And uh, if you have used WD-40, it simply sprays the same you know it doesn't have a you know bad odor and it is very easy to use for your rimfire rifles now the next thing that i have in my cleaning kit is a short cleaning rod uh, this is the hoppies brand and i've only just recently picked this up uh, that way it just makes it a little bit easier to clean the carbon ring now if you don't know what a carbon ring is it's basically a strong buildup of lead and crud and dust and dirt just near the front of the chamber before the rifling. And the purpose of a short um, cleaning rod is to allow you to get in there, leave the solution, let it soak, and it allows you to twist the cleaning rod and the cleaning solution around that carbon ring. And it just makes it a lot more easier to clean up that particular matter. So if you're looking for it, I highly recommend you buy a short cleaning rod for your kit and Honestly, I wouldn't buy the Hoppies brand in the short one simply because it's got the little bearing uh, that makes the handle spin. And when you're trying to just rotate your nylon brush or your patch while you're trying to clean up those uh, carbon rings, uh, just no, I'm not a fan of it. So I recommend that you buy a short cleaning rod without the bearing and allows you to turn your cleaning rod a lot easier. So the next thing that you need for your cleaning kit is a cleaning solution. So this is a bore cleaning. I've only just started using this stuff um, simply because the Hoppies number nine cleaning solution absolutely stinks. And when it gets on your skin, it burns and I just never ever liked it. So the Bortec Rimfire Blend, um, you know, I picked this up at the local shop only I don't know, a couple of weeks ago and it I used it once or twice and honestly it is much better than the Hoppies brand. It is much easier to use, much more pleasant to use and these little bottles are great especially when you're trying to drip a little bit of cleaning fluid on the end of your cleaning rod onto the patch before you push it through your rifle. So overall I'm not you know I'm, I'm happy with the Rimfire blend and um, you know it's much better solution I believe than the Hoppies number nine. So the next thing I recommend is buying a bore guide now this particular ball guide is suitable for my Seiko, but you know you need to find out what ball guide suits your rifle. Now there are a number of ball guides out there that will universally fit, but I recommend that you get a ball guide that specifically fits your rifle and just makes the job a lot more easier, cleaner, 
and no mess, no fuss. So definitely pick yourself up a bore guide. So the next thing that you need in your cleaning kit is some picks. That's right, these little plastic picks are very cheap and very handy to have in your cleaning kit. The main reason why that they are very handy is because they can dig into the little crevices and cracks and whatnot and able to dig out all the gunk, especially around in the chamber, which is very difficult to clean. So yeah, these little plastic picks do come in handy from time to time, and I recommend that you pick up a set and uh, just keep in your cleaning kit. Now the next thing that I keep in my cleaning kit is some little brushes. So I sometimes use a toothbrush or I sometimes use these little nylon brushes. They can come in a kit as well. They're kind of frustrating to use sometimes, but they're sometimes very handy, especially around the bolt and uh, same as an old toothbrush. They're very handy uh, for cleaning the, the gunk and the grime off the bolt and getting into those hard to reach places. So yeah, just grab yourself an old toothbrush or you can go pick up a set of these brushes as well. And uh, yeah, as I said, leave them in your cleaning kit. It's another really awesome thing to pick up at the local gun shop when you're looking for your cleaning supplies. Make sure you pick up a set of little brushes and ball mops. Now these things are really, really handy, especially when you're getting into the, when you're dealing with a carbon ring. These little brushes can be used with a short cleaning rod, which I showed before, which allows you to turn them inside the chamber and get rid of that carbon ring. So pick yourself up um, a set of these, they're very, very cheap. And obviously make sure you pick up the caliber that is right for the rifle that you're using. These little ones are for the 22 rifle. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video talking about cleaning equipment that you can use with your bench rest rifle and keeping it in tip top performance when you're out at the range. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, bye for now.